Hello, welcome to this live interview, live from uh, Migori County. This is a county of many opportunities. Uh, there is uh, the Awendo Sugar Factory here. There's a lot of sugarcane uh, plantations here. You know, people grow maize. Like right now, I've been passing around here and I've seen uh, maize doing pretty well and I'm sure uh, it's going to be the next uh, food basket. And I think people are very determined to ensure that uh, uh, Migori gets into that bracket uh, to start competing with Transoia and other counties around there uh, was an issue, etc. Now, uh, we are in Migori and uh, starting tomorrow, Saturday, the 25th, the party lead of the ODM party, the Honorable Baila Molodinga, is going to visit this great county of Migori. And uh, he has a number of engagements that are lined up for him. And you know, as a man who enjoys massive support in this region, or rather this county, uh, he has a lot in store for the people of this county. What he has to tell them about the party, the future of the party, what we are doing at the party headquarters as a Chungwa House to ensure that the party remains uh, the most popular party in this uh, uh, part of the of, of the country and so so much has been lined up for him and the man driving this is none other than the governor of this county the honorable dr ochilo ayako a seasoned politician former member of parliament he has served as a cabinet minister uh, in, in the government of kenya and he has proved to the people that he is up to the task and that's why the people of Migori turned out in large numbers to vote for him to be their second governor. Welcome to the show, Mushimu Oh, Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Etale, and welcome to Migori County. And I also welcome all the viewers uh, to view what is happening in Migori County. And uh, for this specific visit, I want to invite them to join us in ODM because ODM is the right party to belong to and ODM is the party that liberates us. If you want to join ODM, uh, before I say what uh, I want to say, uh, kindly uh, uh, dial star 483 star 036 hash or visit www.odm.membership.com That's where uh, to dial and that's how to get to ODM. It's the best run party, it's the most enduring party and it's the party of the moment when things are difficult. It's not party of people who pilfer what do not belong to them but things that belong to Kenyans that ought to benefit all of us. Yes, Mishima, I think you're a very sharp man because you know, not so many people, not so many leaders can cram what you've just said here. Star for a three star, zero three six hash. Now, you've said ODM is a party of the people. And indeed, we are ODM and ODM is our business. Tell us about ODM in Migori County. How is the membership like? How, I mean, the support base, how is it like? ODM is the primary uh, party of the people of Migori County. Migori County is a diverse county of many communities, uh, many uh, persuasions in terms of culture, religions, and economic activities. You will find that uh, in all the eight sub-counties of Migori County, ODM has membership in all the sub-counties. Of all the 40 wards, ODM has membership uh, in all the wards. If you look at the totality of membership in Migori County, uh, we are looking at a staggering number of 280,000 and still uh, increasing. In fact, we want to increase that number to 500,000. Um, and why we really want the numbers to grow is we understand and we know that governance is what is the biggest headache Africa has. And when we look at public governance, uh, political parties are the vehicles uh, through which uh, people mobilize themselves 
and acquire the instruments of governance. Look at all of the parties that uh, uh, are uh, in Kenya. Uh, most of those parties are fly-by-night parties. They die immediately after elections. Even uh, UDA uh, that uh, was created in a hurry is turning out to be Simon Makonde. So come, join ODM, be in ODM. Uh, if you think that anything is a challenge in ODM, as a member of ODM or as a leader in ODM, uh, join uh, other members of ODM or leadership to fix those matters. Do not run away from the Party of Liberation, the party that gave us the, second, the, the, the 2010 Constitution, the party that gave us devolution, the party that uh, whose uh, the party which is closely associated with um, working uh, coalitions and inclusivity. It's not a party of an individual, but it's a party that includes all shades of membership in Kenya and is able to stabilize Kenya. But more importantly, it's the party where the small person uh, feels free and anandamana vile anapenda. Pigwe risasi, because that party throughout, and we all know that uh, when ODM uh, is dominant in Kenya, hakuna mukenya anapigwa risasi, hakuna mukenya mali yake or his house or property na bomolewa, hakuna mukenya who is a taxed, overtaxed, like it is now. Hakuna mkenya anadanganywa na kila wa Kenya sisi zote tunajua mambo ya ufisadi is always in the back burner. It's never in our front burner. So ODM is our party, it's our business and it's the way to go. So what you're trying to say, Your Excellency, is that uh, uh, Kenyans are ruining the lost opportunity in the 2022 general election when they failed to put in power a leader who has a vision for this country and now they're regretting. Do you think they, that's the position? I am privileged to be one of the Kenyans who has uh, uh, a penchant for looking at uh, the political climate and the environment. I look at uh, the cry of betrayal in Mount Kenya, uh, which uh, uh, vigorously voted for UDA I look at the cries I see in Bungoma, uh, uh, parts of Transoya, and uh, largely in Rift Valley. I think uh, the administration that uh, the Kenyans uh, mistakenly, or that were misled into putting in, uh, into place, uh, is not equal to the challenges we have. And uh, I see uh, in all the media, social, print, and electronic, that there is a high demand for Baba, Baba Onge, Baba Onge. Because when you see uh, small and desperate people uh, seeking your leadership, uh, it means that they are missing you. Baba, wherever you are, we miss you. Here in Migori, we miss you. Uh, everywhere, we miss you. In fact, Baba's voice is louder than the voice of parliament. The voice of parliament in Kenya has been muscled. Uh, the collective voice of the Council of Governors have been muscled. The entire opposition in this county or in this country cannot speak. Uh, the entire executive uh, of the day of Kenya Kwanzaa is unable to speak a language that people understand. It's only Baba's language that is understood by all. When Baba recently uh, talked about uh, the scam, in the petroleum sector, uh, it is uh, headlines everywhere. Uh, it is a uh, trending because uh, that is the voice, that is the people's voice. Uh, still on the ODM issue, there are some runaway individuals, particularly from this region, the Nyanza region, uh, people who have, who have beneficiaries of uh, the benevolence of the ODM party, you know, trying to, I mean, uh, that. Uh, they, they've, they, they've, they, they, they've made a name using the name of uh, the ODM party. And now they're going around saying that uh, they have now they have taken over the, the, the region. They're claiming that in South Nyanza they have registered quite a number of people to another party. 
Would you confirm or deny these allegations? I want to say that uh, uh, I am a leader who lives uh, among his people. I live in this area and uh, I can assure you whoever claims uh, that he has moved the people away from ODM uh, must uh, be in dreamland and uh, when the dream is over and reality will hit that person it will be such a painful uh, reality that they'll not know what has hit them. Uh, what is happening is uh, they are opportunists who uh, towards uh, every general election uh, seek and deceive uh, ODM that ODM should support them. Their agenda is uh, to use the ODM platform to catapult themselves uh, to leadership. And uh, they are are people who have never been associated uh, with uh, any kind of leadership. Political leadership is public service. Political leadership has the ultimate objective of delivering uh, positive things uh, to the people. Uh, the people expect that their lives will be transformed, but these are individuals who want to transform their individual lives through business connections, by ruling administration of the day, uh, through patronage, by uh, private and public companies, so that they can line their pockets. So when elections uh, turn out uh, to be different uh, from what uh, they had planned, they switch camps and leave the people struggling. I want to tell you, the people here know uh, the gentlemen and women they elected uh, whose voices have been silent when they were shot by the police when they were demonstrating for their rights. They know uh, those who participated in hiking the taxes. They know uh, those who are encouraging uh, development based uh, on political patronage that you must go to state house uh, to beg for development when the people have elevated you uh, to uh, a house, an august house, where you can speak and lobby colleagues uh, for the collective welfare of the nation. So these people uh, who claim, which they must claim, in order to, be, to receive uh, more handouts and more fake opportunities, they must claim that uh, these people are there. They will continue talking out there. But when election time comes, they think they will come back to ODM and uh, influence ODM uh, using Izo Ujanjazao and get the party a patronage. This is why I am requesting everybody in Migori County uh, to return to ODM, uh, fix ODM, uh, rejuvenate ODM, because uh, this is where your voice is. Uh, let us all, even those who have transgressed, the opportunities, they are come back home. We need you. We need the numbers. We need you. Uh, so that we work for our people together. Work is about uh, toiling. It's about uh, sweating. It's about bleeding. So don't just come to ODM when you think that there is no trouble. Come and work together with all of us so that uh, when things are good, we can share uh, the bounties. When things are bad, we work together to change them and improve them. So this is why we need uh, members to register in large numbers. Uh, the KK administration of the day uh, is sliding to oblivion every day, and we cannot allow a national vacuum where every warlord, where every chieftain, uh, can grab the instruments of power, a chieftain or a warlord whose ideology is unknown, who is riding on a tribal numbers, ethnic numbers, or who is uh, basically a populist uh, or a demagogue who wants to mislead people and create uh, some uh, social strife based on uh, uh, dynasty and some other wadogo. We just want a party. Uh, a good party whose ideology is clear, whose membership is clear, and uh, a party 
uh, which is available uh, and accessible to all of us. In the words of uh, the late, your former colleague, uh, Oteno Kajuan, uh, 2027 should be about loyalty and fidelity to the party. I think that is what should be happening, uh, starting now as we move forward towards 2027, because the ODM is a party that feels the people, talks about the people, and listens to the people. Now, moving to the other part of this interview, it's about your leadership here in Migori. How has it been for the last one year since you took over as the second governor of this Gate County of Migori? Well, thank you very much. Uh, I came into office uh, uh, under very challenging circumstances. Uh, those circumstances uh, are still uh, there. I came into office when uh, uh, my county uh, had uh, challenges in terms of pending bills. Uh, the most critical uh, pending bills uh, were in the areas of medical uh, supplies. We were indebted to KEMSA, uh, the one that supplies most essential drugs, to a tune that was exceeding 110 million shillings. We also had needs at that particular time, so we paid off that and uh, we continued uh, uh, ordering for additional medicine or medical equipment and supplies and uh, being available to pay our people. Uh, when I came in, I also came in, and that is still a challenge, when the staffing levels uh, had hit the peak, we could not uh, recruit more staff because we had hit the peak that is permitted by regulation. A certain percentage of our expenditure must be chargeable in what is allowed as a monument. So we had hit that peak. The morale of the staff, our staff, was very low. And you know, staff is very key to the performance of a county. And uh, most of them uh, did not uh, have um, leadership or commitment to serve the people of Migori. Now our staff's morale is back. They receive their payments or their salaries in time and uh, their capacity is being built. We had um, a county public service board that was uh, very compromised and was uh, immoral and uh, irregular in their conduct. Uh, luckily, they were removed by the county assembly, but we are still caught up in legal processes in court which we think will be over soon. And when we have, uh, as we have now, a free county public service board to act on our behalf, uh, we should be able to improve uh, the uh, morale of our staff and give them capacity to work for our people. I also came into office um, when uh, the national government was not releasing uh, monies uh, that are required for uh, services to our people. Uh, you will find that as we speak today, uh, we have not received money for September, uh, for October, and for November. The services required by our people are services that are required immediately. I want to say that uh, what the deputy president said the other day in Mombasa, that uh, they have set aside billions of shillings to counties, is just hot air. The deputy president is a person who does not even believe what he says. He does not uh, speak uh, as uh, a responsible public servant. He is uh, one of the people whose mantra is that Kenya is a private company and that uh, those who have shares are the ones who should get services. I want to tell you that the deputy president is irresponsible and he does not behave or speak as a person worthy of that title. No county in this nation, including Migori, has received a single cent uh, for El Nino purposes. No Migori county and other 13 counties have not received a cent for normal services, both development and recurrent for the month of September, October, and November, and the people need those services. So we are struggling as a county to pay our pending bills. 
we are struggling as a county uh, to continue being attractive to other partners who want to partner with us uh, in promoting productivity. So the deputy president and what he says, I want to uh, say that the coalition he belongs to is a coalition of people who do not tell the truth. And it is very shameful uh, to hold that off his hand. You are not truthful in what you are saying. He goes to Mombasa and incites uh, people of Mombasa against uh, the government, uh, governor of Mombasa, that the governor of Mombasa uh, should be able to handle disaster. Mombasa, uh, just like Migori, is a county that does not have a large budget for disaster. Uh, most of the money is left with the national government. When you talk like that, and you talk in Mombasa, I think your agenda is suspect. Uh, I also want to indicate that uh, when I came to office, uh, most of our facilities uh, in health sector were run down. Most of our roads uh, had not uh, been uh, graveled or maramed, and they were not motorable. So in the last uh, one year, we have uh, opened up roads, uh, maramed and graded uh, more than 3,000 kilometers of roads. Uh, we have uh, actually had a program of facelifting uh, our health facilities and we have ensured that the basic medical supplies are available in our medical facilities. We have just com uh, concluded, uh, uh, you know, enumerating our uh, farmers and we have over 180,000 uh, uh, households that are depend on farming. Uh, which uh, takes us to about 700,000 um, uh, farmers in Migori County. We have uh, a major plan uh, to increase food security in Migori County in the areas of maize, in the areas of rice, in the areas of other cash crops uh, like sugarcane, uh, fruits, uh, and many things. Uh, I must say that uh, there is uh, improved productivity in the areas of agriculture uh, aquaculture and fisheries, and also livestock keeping. The challenge I see is with the market. The challenge I see is with the cost of inputs to sustain the agricultural sector. This is why, instead of politicking day and night, the politics of the national government, uh, what they should uh, preoccupy themselves with is job creation for people who look for white collar and blue collar jobs, but also um, a job creation for farmers by ensuring that farming is an activity that pays. Mm. Your Excellency, I think uh, this is quite insightful and uh, we have shortage of time. But uh, as a student of the Alliance High School, what vision do you have for the people of Migori? Just in one second. The people of Migori, and I want to plead with them, let us put governance first and join ODM because change, development and sustainability is hinged on good governance. And what takes a nation down, what takes a county down is when other people, you do not come together, prioritize governance, put in place an administration that will change your lives. So I have a vision uh, for the people of Migori that once we get our governance right, that involves the people in uh, generating programs uh, and that runs their political affairs fairly, we will have a good county, we will have a good Migori.